Hello, this is Patrick with Lone Wolf Software. This is a quick tutorial on how to use the birthdays and anniversaries reminders option in Contact Wolf, our contact management software for Windows. So what you see on your screen right now is Contact Wolf. We have uh, one record here selected, Albert Abner from the All Group, which just means all the records in the database. And what we're going to do is I'm going to, I think we're going to check for the birthdays and anniversaries for all the contact records. I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll send a quick uh, happy birthday greeting text message right from our computer to Albert um, once we check the uh, birthdays and reminders. So all the contact records um, have an option where you can add a birthday or an anniversary. And I'll show you how you do that. We'll edit uh, Albert's record here by clicking on the edit button. If you go to supplemental tab, you'll see there's an area here that says important dates, birthday, and anniversary. And for any of your records, you can set a birthday or anniversary by just clicking on this little down arrow. And you're presented with a, a calendar option here where you can, you know, select the exact date uh, for their birthday or anniversary. So in this case, we already have these set for Albert. And we're going to check the uh, birthdays and reminders for him and send him a quick text message. So very simple to do in uh, Contact Wolf. We had a lot of uh, a lot of our customers, a lot of our users request this option. It's super useful and very easy easy to uh, use, and it's just a really valuable asset. It's a great way to keep in touch with your family, friends, clients, whatever. You know, you can you can remind yourself of their birthdays and anniversaries uh, and other important days too, if you want. So by clicking on the little birthday cake here at the top of the toolbar. Um, this will do. This will present you with a screen that says uh, birthdays, anniversaries in the next 100 days for the group all, which is all the records in the database. So you can change how many days in the future you want to check by just um, changing this. So let's change this to, let's say, we'll check for the next 20 days what's coming up. Click on the refresh button and you see what's actually happening in the future. Now, if you look at this list, the... The entries with a light blue background are anniversaries, so that's how one way to differentiate between birthdays and anniversaries. And the events that are coming up the fastest are, um, will be always at the top. Now, if you click on one of the um, entries in the list, it'll load the, the information for it below. As you see, we clicked on Albert Abner, and he has a birthday coming up um, in one day. So one thing you can do, one, one easy thing you do, if you wanted to email him, you could just click on one of these email buttons down here and it'll automatically open up your email client and everything will be addressed to Albert and it's ready to go. That's one way to do it. Or in this case, you can right click on the entry Albert and select tag the selected item. And as you see, if we move off of it, it's now red, which just means it's tagged. So tag records in Contact Wolf is a way to select particular records or a subset of records that you want to do something with. You might want to send them all an email message. You might want to export it to a to another program. You might want to print it. You might want to do a report with the tagged records. Tagged records are it's just a way to do a lot of things in Contact Wolf by just selecting a subset or a group of records. Now in this case we're going to um, send uh, Albert a text message. So we have him tagged already so all you have to do is click on the OK button. And if you go down to where the names are listed here and go to the bottom and click on show tagged, you'll see that that one record that we just tagged is now uh, listed. So this shows all the records are, that are tagged currently and we just have the one record. So if you click on Albert to load his, um, his, his information and we'll send him a text message. So if you go over here to the phone, uh, the phone box where all the phone numbers are listed for Albert, click on the cell number and then click on the, uh, the mobile phone or cell uh, icon button, click on that, and you see it, it opens up a, a SMS text message window where you can send them a text right from your computer. You don't need to use your smartphone. This is done through the SMS t uh, messaging uh, system for all the different carriers. So you see his name's already uh, already there. You, you need to put in a, uh, a return address. So in this case, we'll just put support at lonewolfsoftware.com. And um, subject, we'll just say, hi, Albert. And in the message, happy birthday. And you're done. Click on the send button, and it'll send it through the SMS text messaging system. And it'll, it'll end up at his smartphone, and it'll look just like any other text message uh, that's coming from you. You never have to use your smartphone. It's a great way just to send text messages right from your computer. So we'll go ahead and close this. So Albert will get his text messages and wishing, wishing him a happy birthday. And I think you get an idea of just how easy that was to do. Uh, the other thing I'll, I would like to show you is that um, let's click on the birthday icon button again one more time. 
And this is showing the records from the all group. So let's close it. Now let's choose another group. And groups in Contact Wolf is just a way to uh, show a, a set, a subset of records that you assign to whatever group that you want. You can create your own group. So in this case, let's go to, let's say, relatives. So we click on the relatives group. We see how many records you have in the relatives. And now if you click on the birthday button, it'll say, of course, birthdays, anniversaries in the next 20 days for group relatives. So now you're just seeing the relatives. So let's increase this to 100. See if there's any other things coming up. And you see there's another birthday coming up in 91 days. And you can click on these, of course, and see the information for them. So this is one way to um, to uh, to to limit the amount, amount of birthdays and anniversaries that you're seeing by just simply clicking on uh, one of the groups and showing one of the groups in your in your uh, in your list. So um, the other thing I would mention is when you click on the birthday button, um, there's a there's an option down here that says check birthdays and anniversaries on program startup. So this can be selected if you want to check them every time you start contact Wolf, it'll automatically open up this little window and tell you what's coming up in the near future. And that's also useful so you don't forget any of your birthdays, etc., the anniversaries for your friends, family, as I said, clients, whatever. It's just a great option, very useful. And um, we have a lot of users that just love this thing. So thanks for listening, and that's all for now, and uh, look for more videos in the future. Thanks. Goodbye.